and my journey as all of you know started when i was 8 years old when i wanted to touch the stars and i used to think which is the best way to do it and obviously you know i saw those airplanes and i thought those shining bright strobes like maybe if i fly those airplanes i can touch one of those stars and that's how it started i had nothing going for me i did not have my surroundings my environment or uh, neither did i know english that well at that time um i all i had going at that point in time for me were my dreams that's it me and my dreams but with the power of education backed by determination and resilience today here i am in front of all of you i had to undergo a fair amount of struggles to overcome uh, the social uh, expectations the social norms and what of uh, the expectations were pinned upon me from my parents from society i think that was a real tough fight for me to overcome and of course you know i didn't know the language i knew i had to know english in order to become a pilot i did not have the resources you know we, i'm from very humble beginnings and proud to be one because that feel that is what makes me so much more grateful towards every single thing that i have achieved today any child growing up in the elementary formative years the only few people in their surroundings are their parents and their teachers not even so much of their friends because i think those are the two major influences when you're growing up and you need also support and uh, uh, guidance from them and if something you don't get you probably get a little bit lost a little bit uh, demotivated and i think we as individuals you know as uh, millennials we should encourage the future generations our children to go chase their dreams no matter how hard they are the education system should be developed in a way where it's more based on the practical aspects of it rather than rote learning and that is one aspect which somewhat i feel can be improved upon in india because a lot of kids you know have this tendency to rote learn and not necessarily understand you know what they're really learning because it's the fine application of what you're learning uh practically uh rather than just you know ratta mar ke exams dena that is not the culture we should promote and i think that is something we may want to relook at and opt for more practical based training like um i believe in the power of education so much that even after i was a triple seven captain achieving you know whatever i have achieved by god's grace which is only to do something bigger um i came to colombia as all of you know i'm uh, at the business school over here and i'm uh, one of the first few indians to get full scholarship so truly blessed and i think uh when i came here i saw the way education system works over here it is so inspiring to learn uh from professors who are so practical all the training over here is basically you know uh, about um how you will negotiate things how will you go out there and talk that's what they encourage they encourage you to kind of actively participate in things and i guess when you do that now having um, so much of a business background uh, at the, my mba school as well i really feel i have become more holistically educated rather than just educated so i think education and holistic education are two different things and i think holistic education is where our system needs to move towards a little bit in order to um drive the full potential out of our bharatiya bharatiya beti and bharatiya beti I think learning by doing is super important for our children because when you learn by actually doing it um, kind of brings about a very holistic learning aspect you know so I think it is super important to inculcate that uh, into the way we educate our kids and also um, to imbibe our children with soft skills because soft skills is something which is going to direct the way you communicate to the rest of the world and how you come across um as a person because that can make or break any situation the way you communicate and that is something we should pay a lot of emphasis on because i think that is not really paid much attention to in the current um, education system i think
think a child should be raring to go to school should be raring to you know be able to learn to unleash their potential i think that is the kind of world i want to see where children go out there with their passion with their excitement to go and learn do something new so for that requires you to tap into a child's psychology to understand what the child is passionate about and push them in that way because let's face it every child is different every child is special i think we just need to find that fine balance of where the speciality lies in the child and maybe kind of uh, direct uh, that child towards that side because creativity is such a thing some people are more creative some are more analytical you know you have to figure out who is who and kind of push them towards that way of education and i think that is one thing if we can master that we can really tap 100% of all our kids potential rather than losing out so many of them and only a fraction of them are really excelling where they are because let's face it our kids are brilliant all children are brilliant the only difference is where they get lost in translation where they are not able to achieve the same path of the the same trajectory rather which is aligned with their passion and their vision and their dreams we often misread that and i think that is something we need to change so that every child should be ready to go to school like tomorrow morning for example i'm also a student just like all of the vega school students right now and um i feel that um you know tomorrow morning i have 8:30 class but i'm ready to go i'm doing this interview at 1 am like with a smile on my face because i know tomorrow morning even though i have a class at 8:30 in the morning but i will get to learn so much more and become a better version of myself which i then what i was yesterday so i think that is where we need to focus more on in our education system where we can actually understand what the child has about him or herself which is special and gently guide them you know in that direction I learned my English from BBC and Star movies, um, and um, I was listening to the song called Mariah Carey's Hero, and those lyrics, you know, were such empowering lyrics that even today, when I feel down or low, I always go back to the song because when a hero comes along, it gives you the strength to carry on, and you cast your fear aside. You know you can survive, even though the hope is gone. Look inside you and be strong. and you'll finally see the truth that the hero lies in all of you